there is an understanding mm-hmm. amongst us and how we feel about something, mm-hmm. how we see something, the entire picture of it. Right. Right? He said it on that platform to where everybody who is not of this ilk, is not of this information, they took it and they ran with it. And that's the only thing you are hearing about today. Yes. That's the only reactions you're hearing about from people. And it, oh, it completely overshadowed everything else in that, in that episode he said was right. He yes. talked about this, even the statement anti-Semitic. He goes, if anti-Semitic, he said, we the Semites, we the Jews, right? He said, the anti-Semitic statement is, I fucked your bitch, I get more money, I kill niggas. He said, those are anti-Semitic statements if we want to be honest. Let me drop a bomb to that. Right? He said, that's, he said, but, and I, he said, but those type of songs, that type of content is what's funding these Jews that own the record labels and the DSPs. Did he lie? Did he lie? No. Right? And he said, I guarantee who wants to bet their house right now that if I open up Apple Music right now, those are the top three. He said, those, the top three songs has that type of content in it. Nobody said a word. Nobody wants to bet. He said, you want to bet right now? Mm-hmm. So we, like, So even... Basic level, basic, basic stuff. If we're talking about how black people get treated in the media and how we are seeing, how we perceive, how the stuff that we get propped up for compared to the stuff they get propped up for is vastly different. Where did he lie? Preach. Where did he lie? That's, that's all I want people to think about, right? If we're talking about... Uh, this is even he didn't even talk about this but slave movies there's an Emmett Till movie coming out there's always a slave movie but you've never seen a movie that depicts Jewish people in a negative light I don't see it you will never see it right you're talking he talked about just the power of them labeling him crazy he said how you label he said you know they've been calling me crazy all these media outlets and I'm trying to get a heroin addict away from my kids who tattooing my kids name on himself Facts. I would go. Yo, I I would go. Yeah, y'all would say Malcolm was going crazy if it was somebody tattooing Noble's name on him. Absolutely. I would go completely bonkers, and y'all would be like, "Yo, what the hell? We used to watch him all the time with his pops. Like, what? What did it? What, what happened? The happened? Yeah. Because I'm losing it. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But no, we're talking about George Floyd all of a sudden, and I want to know. I want to know when the f- George Floyd became this untouchable being in our community. I want to know that. I want to know that. Facts. Hmm? Facts. What has he done in our community that we can't say nothing about him? I want to know that. Facts. Hmm? Since, so now, and then, oh, and then the media has, they don't have to do anything. They just have to get the black people in these, um, oh, the Charlemagne's, the, the, because Joe Biden is going to go in on Kanye tomorrow. He is. I'm pretty sure he is. Right, he is. All these people that are on these news outlets, they're going to go off on Nori for them. They're not going to say, they don't have to say nothing. Mm-hmm. They don't have to do nothing. Yep. But we fall for it every single time. I don't under, like, it's so frustrating. And to the point, I really didn't want to come in here today because I'm just like, what, I'm gonna say, what, what am I going to say at this point? No, absolutely. Absolutely. What am I going to say? Yep. 